India's LCA had its maiden flight on January 4, 2001. Since then, this indigenously designed aircraft has had 50 flights. Ladies and gentlemen, I for flight 26. The development of this supersonic aircraft has evidenced two major issues. One, that the Indian aeronautical community has reached certain maturity to design such a complex state-of-the-art aircraft as the light compact aircraft LCA. Secondly, we have shown that we can work in a consortium mode with ADA as the prime design agency, HAL as the prime production agency. We have been able to synergize the efforts of Indian Air Force, our esteemed customer, Defense Research and Development Organization laboratories, academic institutions, and scores of private industries. With two technology demonstrator aircraft, so LCA, ready to fly in Aero India 2003, India is going to break into international market. LCA is clearly the pride of the nation. The Combat Aircraft Program is the largest aircraft development project ever undertaken in India. Hundreds of organizations and thousands of Indians have worked tirelessly for a decade or more to bring the project to its present stage. Two technology demonstrators have made close to 50 flawless flights and the three crucial technologies that have been developed, the digital fly-by-wire system, the glass cockpit and the composite airframe have performed well. Team LCA has embarked on the long and difficult road to full-scale engineering development and weapons integration. It is a road never travelled before in this country, but with a lot of hard work and the nation's good wishes, Team LCA will get there. the first flight of LCA, all the handling qualities of the LCA, including the failure cases, were assessed on this simulator and this was later verified in actual flight. What we have found while flying the LCA is that the handling qualities as displayed in the actual aircraft match very close to what we have assessed in the RTS. National Flight Test Center is a yet another dream of Dr. Abdul Kalam. Uh, it was formed in 1994 as a composite body to flight test the LCA. Uh, it draws expertise of personnel from various walks of life, including the Indian Air Force, HAL and ADA. Now our basic job is to put the LCA through its paces with a very comprehensive flight test program which will ensure safety during the program and at the end of it the Indian Air Force would get an aircraft with which it can not only fight a war but definitely win the war. All state of the art technologies are going to be incorporated in this aircraft. The carbon-carbon brake discs, then high pressure ratio water extractor, the glass cockpit, the state of the art avionic system, carbon composite wings, these are some of the features with which uh, uh, we are going to fly this aircraft with. In this particular class of aircraft, it is certainly a unique aircraft. These materials come in the, in the form of a sheet. We cut these sheets to the required shape. The laying of their sheets one over the other to make the actual part. It 
it's a masterpiece. The designers of HL and Ada have joined together to produce this aircraft. I mean, this is a bright example how both the organization DRDO and HL can work together and produce such a world-class aircraft. HL is uh, the main manufacturer of this aircraft. I mean, designers are working day and night to produce this aircraft along with Ada. And uh, today we have already produced two technology demonstrators. Recently, HL has signed a MOU with Ada to produce eight limited series production aircraft. Already the infrastructure we have started building up that by the year 2006 will produce the first LSP aircraft. And HL has taken it as a national project to see that this project becomes a success. This is the iron bird for proving flight control system of LCA leading to first flight. This is the platform where the entire flight control system gets tested with hardware in the roof in real time. We have provided this complex facility to the nation for LCA, for expansions of LCA and any other future project of this complex. We are DARE, the Defence Avionics Research Establishment, and this is the CADACO, which is called the Kaveri Digital Engine Control Unit. This is the test setup for our, for our CADACO. This setup simulates all engine transducer parameters, for example, inlet temperature. This one generates uh, voltage corresponding to the temperature. This software reads that one and validates, then finally it controls the temperature parameter for the Covery engine. This is a universal test bed. This can test uh, any type of engines up to 50,000 pounds thrust. Uh, we have also tested Covery engine on this test bed. Basically this is designed and installed to test GF404 FQJ3 engines. We carry out uh, acceptance tests of the engine and verify the function and the performance of the engine before it is uh, delivered to the aircraft for use. early 90s, CDRD has taken up the design and development of an aircraft mounted accessory gearbox for the LCA. This single input multi output gearbox takes its input drive from the main LCA engine through a power takeoff shaft at a rated speed of 16,810 rpm while delivering an output power of 250 horsepower. It carries on its output pads four aircraft accessories. Two of these are hydraulic pumps of 60 horsepower each, a third is an integrated drive generator. On its fourth pad is a jet fuel starter. Together, these accessories cater to the electrical and hydraulic requirements of the aircraft and hence the AMAGB plays a very crucial role as a secondary power system.
digital flight control system of LCA does all the functions of the fly-by-wire flight control system. The quadruplex redundant system is designed to meet a probability of loss of control of 1 in 10 million. Testing of this system is done using a engineering test station, hydraulic station as a part of the minibird rig. In the dynamic avionics integration rig, we validate the avionics system interfaces with flight control, engine, environment, fuel, electrical for its hardware and software interfaces. In the rig, we validate as a system in total so that all the hardware and software issues are handled on the ground and after that we clear the system for the flight. So far we have done 50 flights and we have not received a single software bug. Uh, mission computer is one of the important LRUs for the LCA avionics and the hardware has been developed by Dave and the software has been developed by ADA. The software consists of 0.2 million lines of code and the test software of 0.5 million of code. The software has been developed using ADA language using a stringent development process and IVAD process. The software has been tested several hours a day and test tone successfully in the all the flights of LCA. With the seven prototype LCA program on firm footing and also HAL taking up production of eight limited series production aircraft, DRDO and Navy had decided to go to government for sanction of LCA naval variant uh, project. Now, LCA Navy has got certain unique capability to fly from carrier. It takes off from a 14 degree ramp with a substall speed of about 100 knots and it, within few seconds of this, it gets wing bone flight. The first flight of LCA TD1 took place on 4th January 2001. About 40 years after the first flight of HF-24 Marut. In between, two generations of fighters have been developed elsewhere in the world. In this field, you have to run to stay where you are, whereas we were not even in That was the technological gap and facility gap that we had when the LCA program was started. We had to train the total team, the designers, the pilots, the airworthiness agency, the manufacturing team, and we had to integrate the work of about 300 industries, 40 R&D laboratories, and 25 academic institutions. And they worked together for more than a decade. The result is a world-class technology, a world-class product, which is comparable to the best that is available in the world. We have today the technologies, like the advanced fly system, the fly composite materials, the brake by system, the carbon brakes, the health monitoring system, the open architecture, computer, the avionics system, which will keep us going at least for next three decades. This is the technology which not only will take care of LCA, but also the subsequent programs. This is this technology which becomes the backbone of this country. And it is this technology which will help us to use it in new products, new areas of work, and bring in what you call uh, this wealth generation for the country as a whole.